So your favorite governor has been making the rounds and um, had this to say on MSNBC. Take a listen. You are an excellent emissary in terms of passion, engagement, articulation, all of the things that, you know, make for a good campaigner, though we know you're not running for president yourself. No chance. <laughs> no chance. Yeah. Who in their mind would want to run uh, when you have someone of such esteem as our incumbent president okay. of the United States with a record of accomplishments and a man of character, a man of decency? I'm old school. Talk about loyalty. I'll, I'll go to ends of the earth for this guy. I really would. I'm not, I'm not making that up. I'm glad he said that at the end because I was wondering whether he was joking. <laughs> Weren't you? Yeah. Well, it is kind of funny because if when you exaggerate, that's when it becomes clear that you're lying, you know? Mm -hmm. So if somebody said to you, like, if you had a short, fat, daughter and somebody said uh how's helga doing did she find a date for the prom and you went <laughs> no she has helga hasn't found a date for the prom but it's 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 puzzling because she's exquisite looking and she's so beautiful and she's better looking than the best looking supermodel and her personality is so vibrant that's when it starts seeing seems like you're lying you know yeah. and the thing about yes. biden Biden is such an unmitigated train wreck that when people try to prop him up, it seems surreal. And it also seems like they're lying. Like if somebody said, you know, what do you think of Joe Biden? And I was like, well, you know, he's he's doing his job, I guess. You know, I mean, really, how good is any president? You know, at least he's not Trump or something like that. Then you'd believe it. If I if I went this guy's sharp as a tack and leading us in the direction of light and truth. And you'd go, oh, get the hell out of here. And that, so that's what, that's what Newsom sounds like. But keep in mind, Newsom is a narcissistic sociopath douchebag. I mean, he really <laughs> is, he really has a personality disorder. I, yeah. I don't know how else to explain who he is and and it's not newsom that we should be thinking about it's the people that vote for newsom like that's the thought experiment mm -hmm. he is an empty bag he is a sociopath he has no thoughts in his head other than sound bites or what will get him either elected or reelected the question is in the sort of sociological experiment is who votes for this idiot? And the mm -hmm. answer is a lot of people yeah. because of how he looks and how he comes across, which yeah. is very interesting. Like what would, how would it work if Gavin Newsom was five foot nothing and had a double chin and a receding hairline? What if he were a Helga? What if his first name was Helga? Mm -hmm. Like, I got yelled at when I did uh, Sean Hannity's show several months ago where somebody asked me about AOC. And I said, listen, if she was 60 and from Minnesota and fat, no one would listen to a word she said. And everyone was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like, whoa, what? You think I'm we'd listen to the a truth. word this thing that had? She doesn't have a thought in her head. Why would we listen to her? It's totally yeah. true. It's 100 percent true. And it is I think if Gavin Newsom was 60, short, fat, and from Minnesota, nobody would listen to a goddamn word that idiot had to say. I think I need to hear the soundbite again. It's such there's such acting going on in here. He's from California. Let's watch it again. You are right. an excellent emissary in terms of passion, engagement, articulation, all of the things that, you know, make for a good campaigner, though we know you're not running for president yourself. No chance. <laughs> no chance. Yeah. Who in their mind would want to run uh, when you have someone of such esteem as our incumbent president okay. of the United States with a record of accomplishments and a man of character, a man of decency? I'm old school. Talk about loyalty. I'll, I'll go to ends of the earth for this guy. I really would. I'm not, I'm not making that up. <laughs> it's, it's, it's wonderful. Well, I, man of character. The, crazy, the craziest thing about Biden's character is back 
when he knew he was alive about 30 years ago, he was giving his bona fides about his education. And he was like, I was at the top half of my law school class. I was a Fulbright um, scholarship awardee. I was the only person in my school that had a triple major. He he lied about all of it. I mean, back when the news back when the news had an ounce of integrity, like, you know, the craziest thought experiment is you go back and you watch the ABC nightly news from 1991. And they're like, Mr. Biden did not have any of these degrees. Mr. Biden was lying. And you're like, oh, who's saying this? It's like, oh, oh, the news. The golden age. Yeah, it used to be the news. They used to just report on stuff when Democrats lied and plagiarized. So how can you be a man of character? Like I said to Dr. Drew, I was like, is there any situation where you could forget what your major was or how many degrees you had or how many scholarships you had? That's a weird characteristic lie. I mean, that's an insane thing to make up all your degrees and all your majors or, yeah. you know, how you marched with Martin Luther King or you were in a South African prison because you went to meet with Nelson Mandela. I mean, what a <laughs> sociopathic liar Biden is. But you got Newsom, who's also a sociopath. So they're they're kind of perfect for each other. He explained why he did some of that, in particular, his academic record. He said he exaggerates when he gets angry. <laughs> That's what he said. I exaggerate when I get angry. <laughs> That's a thing, right? And you get really pissed off and you just are like, I was top of my class. That's <laughs> what so you start yelling, no, right? You start making up your fake resume when you feel angry. Whenever I argue with a woman and it gets really heated, I'll go, it's like the time I won the Heisman Trophy. And then I go, oh, wait a minute. Oh, Oh. (laughs) it's like the time I won the Congressional Medal of Honor. Okay, woman. (laughs) Yeah. I remember the time I hoisted the Stanley Cup above my head. Yeah, yeah. That's That's, you're being too hard on him. Obviously, we've all been there. Um, Okay. I want to get on to my second clip of Gavin Newsom because he was apparently doing some roundtable with press and local California officials about something else and was making small talk before the Zoom call got started about a very jarring experience he had in a Target out there in California. Uh, Take a listen to how that sounded, SOT 21. Sir, um, you dropped this and he comes back, picks it up and keeps walking out. As we're checking out, the woman says, oh, he's just walking out, he didn't pay for that. I said, well, why are you stopping? She goes, oh, the governor. I swear to God, true story. On my mom's grave, the governor lowered the threshold. There's no, there's no, there's no accountability. There's no, I said that's just not true. And she, I, she got, I said we have the tenth toughest, nine hundred fifty dollars, the tenth toughest in America. She doesn't even know what I was talking about. By the way, it's the tenth toughest in America. Look it up. No one gives a damn about right. that. And I said it's just not true. There's still it stop. I said well we don't stop them because of the governor. And then she goes, she looks at me twice, and then she freaks out. She calls everyone over, wants to take photos. I'm like, no, I'm not taking a photo. We're having a conversation. Where's your manager? How are you blaming the governor? And it was, you know, $380 later. And I was like, why am I spending $380? Everyone can walk the hell right out. Yeah. So annoying, isn't it? I know. I, you know, Gavin knew some, I remember about two years ago, he, when all the train robberies were going on, Um, they were robbing all the trains in downtown LA because they had FedEx boxes on them. And then they would just throw the boxes everywhere. And it was just garbage. As far as the eye could see boxes, packaging, it was a real hellscape. And then he showed up and he did a presser and he was like, what the hell's going on around here? Like, that's his thing. His thing is like, oh man, he has a, he has a very interesting technique, which is he will say like, you'll go homeless. What's going on with the homeless? And I'll go, yeah, what's going on with the homeless? What's happening? Like all (laughs) your horrible failed policy is what's happening. That's what he shares in your pain and also has no idea how, how this happened. Who did this to us? 
yes, your your Democrat majority um, city and state is what happened, Gavin Newsom. Let me tell you a story about a guy named Leo Grillo. Leo was on a road trip and came across a Doberman. This dog was severely underweight and clearly in trouble. Leo rescued the dog and named him Delta. Sadly, Delta was just one of many animals that needed help. And this inspired Leo to start Delta Rescue, the largest no-kill, care-for-life animal sanctuary in the world. They have rescued thousands of dogs, cats, and horses too from the wilderness. And they provide their animals with shelter, love, safety, a home. It's dedication and everlasting love to animals. That's Leo's mission and legacy. Delta Rescue relies solely on contributions to stay open. And if you would like caring for these animals to be part of your legacy, speak with your estate planner because there are tax savings benefits there too. You can grow your estate while letting your love for animals live well into the future. Check out the estate planning tab on their website to learn more and speak with your advisor. We call a dog a man's best friend for a reason. You can help those who need it most. Visit deltarescue.org today to learn more. That's deltarescue.org, deltarescue.org. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.